Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. In this video we are talking about how to properly back up your footage. We all know that's a really bad thing when you lose your footage or files are corrupted or anything like that. In this video I'm gonna show you my perfect workflow of how to store your footage, how to properly stay organized and everything like that. So coming up. Hi guys, my name is Paul, I'm a German filmmaker and this channel is all about filmmaking, gear reviews but also DaVinci Resolve tutorials. So if that's something that you're interested in, consider subscribe, I would really appreciate that. Thank you. First things first, and that's the most important thing, I think it's stay organized. So before I even plug the card into my computer, I create a folder with the name of that project and inside that folder I gonna get, create um, another folder which is called day one for the first shooting day and then I also put there the date when I've shot that and inside that folder I will um, create another folder or multiple folders for the camera so basically camera A was the Canon EOS R, camera B was the Blackmagic Pocket 6K, um, the third camera was my drone Mavic 2 Pro and then maybe you have created some audio tracks so um, yeah, with an audio recorder, so all that will be um, coming into that dedicated folder. Then I go back to the project folder and then I will also create a folder for animations when I do like title animations or stuff like that. Um, a folder for the project file from Resolve or your editor what of whatsoever uh, will be stored there. Then also for music, logo of the client, everything which is related to the project, I will do that. So step number two, then you're gonna take your card, uh, connect it to your computer and then just dump the footage to these hard drives. So I personally do it that I um, copy the files to three separate hard drives, what I've already said, first my computer, then external SSD and then also um, the hard drive here from G drive. So I have three different backups that I can rely on. But the thing that's most important here is that you copy the files always from your card to the dedicated hard drive because uh, if you maybe just copy it to um, your computer first and then files are getting corrupted or anything like that and then you um, take the folder from your computer and dump it onto the external hard drive then you're just making a backup of that bad footage. And I already had that once then I just realized when I was editing that um, lines in the footage were missing or uh, dancing pixels and uh, then I just uh, looked on the camera and there everything was fine. So there always can uh, happen stuff like when you dumping the footage to your computer because of write speed or whatsoever. So therefore always take the footage from the card and then um, copy it to the dedicated hard drive. Um, not copying it from the computer then afterwards. So that's the most secure way. And that leads me to step number three and that is checking your data. So in all these three backups where I have the data, I will check randomly some different clips and will check them if I have, if there are any dropping frames, uh, if there's anything wrong with this footage, if it's playback properly, if the editing software will recognize it and all that stuff. So after that's done, I know that I'm safe and then I can go on to step number four, which is formatting the card. I always do that one day prior, prior to the shooting. So let's say um, I'm gonna create the backup today and my next shooting is in one week. I will leave the footage onto the card until one day prior to the shooting because maybe something happens and then I still have um, the footage onto the card as well. And yeah, before the shooting, I always format the card and I have a fresh card and can use it um, for the next shooting. So and that leads me to step number five, which is the last step and that is data archiving. So um, let's say you've created a video, you have editing, um, you have edited the footage and your client is happy, then you want to move the footage or basically the project data from your computer to, I'm gonna do it to two um, external hard drives. So creating two more backups on these hard drives and that is basically data archive. These hard drives are something stored here in my 
um, yeah, in my in my office, so they are not permanently permanently attached to my computer, and there I'm gonna store everything. I'm gonna prefer this method because I think that's the easiest way if the client reaches out to me and say, hey, can we just change that? I just plug it right into the computer and I have the footage. You can also store it online, yes, but uh, I think downloading the footage takes a lot of time and also uploading, um, it's not, um, yeah, I think the, the workflow that I'm used to. So that's my personal workflow. Yours might be different, but yeah. And also make sure that you have all the files into that project folder that I just said. So also the final videos, uh, animations, the project file of your editing software, really, really important that you have always, which is everything which is related to that project. You copy that and you have a backup of that or basically two different backups. And I also gonna store online um, the project backup file from the editing software. I load it up to Google Drive that I have always another backup just there. So here, yeah, that's my personal workflow of how to backup your footage. What's your workflow? How are you gonna backup your footage? Um, yeah, please tell me in the comments below. I'm really interested or really curious to know about it. And I'm gonna see you in my very next video. Cheers.